Hey, Chiefs Kingdom, Kansas City looks to make it four straight victories, complete a bloodbath for the past four weeks by beating the Cowboys. So if you want that to happen, then like this video. If you don't like the video, well, the Cowboys are probably going to win. We did this last week, and the Chiefs beat the Raiders. We got enough likes, but let's be honest, Dallas is a much better team, so we need to crank that number up. So like this video if you want the Chiefs to beat the Cowboys. If we were breaking down this game and it's a loss, it's probably because we didn't get enough lives, likes. That is just science. Okay, like the video and let's get into today's show. Did you like it yet? I hope so. I'm your host, Harrison Graham, on today's Kansas City Chiefs report, and we have some news and some rumors to get into. We'll get into an injury update on a couple of players in just a moment, but let's talk about Shane Bouchelle first, the quarterback who has been signed to the active roster from the practice squad. Uh, this happened in the last 24 hours or so. Arizona tried to poach him off the practice squad because they have injury issues with Kyler Murray and Colt McCoy, uh, who may or may not be available this week, so they tried to add Shane Bouchelle, and the Chiefs were like, nope, we're going to activate him because we think highly enough to keep him. He, of course, had a strong training camp and was very impressive in the preseason as well. I thought personally that he had earned a 53-man roster spot out of the preseason, even if that meant the Chiefs uh, should carry three quarterbacks. They decided to put him on the practice squad, uh, but now he's on the active roster. I am pretty high on Shane Bouchelle. I liked him in college, uh, did some good things at Texas. Then he transferred to SMU and played really well his final two collegiate seasons, and then he goes undrafted, uh, gets picked up by the Chiefs, and Balls out during the preseason. Uh, during three games, 67%, uh, 422 yards. Sure, a couple of interceptions. He's a bit of a gunslinger, but I don't mind that. Uh, he throws a nice deep ball. He's got a pretty strong arm. He's sneaky mobile. He's not a complete stiff in the pocket. He can move a little bit as well. And I think the hope here, the goal, is that Shane Bouchelle could end up being the long-term backup quarterback uh, behind Patrick Mahomes, right? Because Chad Henney is certainly getting older. Now, obviously, as of now, if Mahomes were to get hurt in a game, uh, Chad Henney would be the guy. But I do think that uh, Bouchelle has shown Kansas City enough that, okay, we want to see how this plays out uh, and see if he can be the long-term solution at QB2. That is what I am hoping for. And now with him being on the active roster, this shows me something. This shows me that the Chiefs are pretty high on Shane Bouchelle just like I am. Will Shane Bouchelle be... Patrick Mahomes, long-term backup quarterback. Type Y for yes, type N for no. We'll make this the pinned comment on today's video, so if you get hit with the YouTube ad break, just scroll on down to the top part of the comment section and reply with a Y or an N. Keep it moving here on our Chiefs news and rumor show. Let's talk some injuries here. Clyde edwards Lair, is he going to be back this week? We'll see. He's practicing today uh, per Andy Reid. Uh, only one player not practicing. We'll get to that player uh, in a few minutes. Uh, Andy Reid didn't really provide a clear answer during his press conference today about uh, Edwards Lair's status for Sunday. Uh, it feels pretty 50-50 to me. He, of course, has been on IR, but his pra they opened his practice window last week. So basically by next week, they would have to activate him. Uh, he, of course, has not played since week five with a knee sprain. Andy Reid said, uh, quote, yeah, I mean, if we go in that direction, or, or th he was asked on sitting him another week, and this is what he had to say, excuse me. Yeah, I mean, there's a chance we go in that direction. We're just looking to see how he does this week. You know, we'll go from there. If he feels like he's not, if we feel like he's not ready, then we won't put him in there. I say if he's not 100%, I probably give him another week. This isn't like a Tyree Kill type where it's like, okay, if he's 85%, let, let, let's play Tyree Kill because we know how major of an impact is. Is CEH this team's best running back? Yes, but I think you can get by with what you have. Daryl Williams, while the yards per carry hasn't been great, I think he's been a physical runner. He's been impressive as a receiver as well. And I think uh, as a lead back, I think you can get by with him. He's coming off a solid game against the Las Vegas Raiders, especially as a receiver where he just mossed uh, Jonathan Abram. That was embarrassing for Abram. Burn that tape to the ground if you're Vegas. Uh, but I think Daryl Williams and Derek Gore can hold down the fort with a little, uh, little mixture of Jarrett McKinnon as well. 
uh, I think you'll be just fine. Now, I want Clyde edwards Alaire to return and be this team's starter. I think you want to see uh, if he can be a big part of the offense long term, but uh, that doesn't mean you play him at 80 85% this week against the Dallas Cowboys. So what do you guys think? Will he return this week? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. I'm going to guess they give him another week, but uh, we'll see how the next few days progress, how he looks in practice, and again, if he's 100%, that's a different deal, but I'm not convinced he will be before Sunday. Let's talk about that player I mentioned that didn't practice. That, of course, is Lucas Niang. He missed uh, Wednesday's practice, the only player who uh, did not practice. He's been dealing with a ribs injury. Mike Rimmers, of course, is on injured reserve. So uh, you're down your st starting two right tackles right now with Niang. Uh, apparently still banged up enough where he can't even get out there and practice. Ribs are a tough deal. It's hard to rotate, it's hard to move, uh, and it's hard to breathe as well, and that's problematic uh, for a football player uh, if he can't do that. So I'm just going to you know, project. Looks like Andrew Wiley for another week against Dallas. Uh, I thought he played a lot better this past week, held his own against Max Crosby, one of the best pass rushers in the league this year against the Raiders, so I thought that was a good sign. Dallas, uh, as we mentioned uh, on Monday's pre preview, or Tuesday's preview, uh, excuse me, uh, Randy Gregory on IR, Demarcus Lawrence unlikely to return this week. So uh, you're not facing, you know, Julius Peppers or someone like that this week. This is not a great pass rush. Obviously, they might put uh, Micah Parsons over there, and if that's the case, you'll have to chip a little bit. Uh, but then you leave weaknesses elsewhere on that defense if you're Dallas. You look at the offensive line uh, with Niang and Rimmers out. Uh, expect Andrew Wiley to plug in. We'll see if Kyle Long gets activated from the pup list this week. I know he's been practicing a little bit as well, uh, but uh, not a real concrete update on his status either. And look, uh, like I mentioned, Wiley was solid against the Raiders. I mean, he's not he's not an all pro by any means, but this is a veteran player. I still think he's a little better at guard than he is at tackle, but I think in the short term, you can get by with him. Now, you don't want to go into the playoffs with Andrew Wiley at right tackle. That I can promise you, but uh, can you get by against a, you know, average uh, Cowboys front, yeah, I think you'll be just fine. Speaking of that matchup, Chiefs going for four straight. Predict the score of Chiefs versus Cowboys. This game, of course, at Arrowhead Stadium. Get your score predictions in. Let us know who you think is going to win and what you think the final score will end up being. Go ahead and load up your score predictions down in the comments. And if you want to go bet on this game, there's only one place to do it. That, of course, is BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash ChiefsBet. Use our promo code Chiefs125. And if you haven't gotten going with BetUS yet, the jersey giveaway deal continues from us during the holiday season. Follow these steps. Uh, just screenshot this uh, on your phone right now. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. Promo code Chiefs125, like I mentioned. If you don't use our link, the rest of it doesn't matter. Like, if you just Google Bet US and try to follow the rest of the steps, it's not going to count. So uh, you might as well not even do that. Uh, get the deposit bonus. you got to deposit a minimum of 100 You'll get 125 for free with that bonus. Place a bet on any game for any amount, and then email us, jersey at Chatsports.com. We'll confirm that you got your account going. Uh, once you send us your account number, and then we can uh, hook you guys up with a brand new Chiefs jersey once you email us, jersey at chatsports.com. Tons of different ones available. We got the Mahomes red, the Mahomes yellow as well. Travis Kelsey red jerseys are still out there, and we have these sweet Tyreek Hill yellow ones as well. These are the uh, four uh, jerseys we have at this time. So if you want any of those, if you have a loved one uh, that you still haven't bought a Christmas present for, this would be a perfect opportunity to get a jersey for free with just a $100 deposit with BetUS. So chatsports.com slash bet, and then email us jersey at chatsports.com. Okay, Patrick Mahomes named AFC Offensive Player of the Week after his performance uh, against the Las Vegas Raider, uh, Raiders. He obviously uh, broke out of his slump uh, in many people's eyes, at least for that game, if not permanently. We'll see moving forward. And what's funny is he's quietly second in the NFL in passing yards and touchdowns. Oh, he's slumping. He's not the same. He's, you know, he's, he's a broken quarterback. Yeah, he's second in the NFL in yards and in touchdowns. He's he's still he's still having a, a good season, even if it's not quite been to his standards. 35 of 50, 406 yards, five touchdowns, no picks. This is what he did to earn AFC Player of the Week on offense, uh, which he has obviously won several times before. Mahomes is back, boys and girls. Mahomes is back. 
Uh, fasten your seatbelts because this offense, I think, is about to take off. And uh, I think they're going to beat the Cowboys uh, to show the NFL, like, yeah, not only is Mahomes back, this team is back as well. So hopefully Patrick Mahomes uh, can build off that game. Uh, like I said, you look at the numbers, still 25 touchdowns uh, through uh, 10 games. He's on pace to throw 40-plus and almost 5,000 yards. Yeah, so much for a, uh, a super down season. He still has a chance to put up absolutely huge numbers. If you think Patrick Mahomes is back, type me. If you don't, type not me, I guess. I don't know. Let me know if you think he is back. And again, if you want to beat the Cowboys, you better like the video. If we don't get enough likes, that's on you. And we'll see you next time here on the Chiefs Report.